Hi, I am back with a new video. A user has asked, to hide the sidebar once, a component is selected in the editor. So, today we will see how to do that. To hide the sidebar, I am first going to add a button on our top nav. On click of that, we will hide the sidebar. So let's start. If you don't subscribe my channel yet, then please subscribe. But before let me add some classes and remove some CSS styling just to use Bootstrap more appropriately. Remove position fixed from side nav class, which is in main.scss file. Remove position relative from the main content class. Remove width property from the main content class. Remove left property from the main content class. Add w85 class and add width property. Add start 15 class and add left property. Now, add position fixed class in our side nav div. Now, add position relative. Start 15 and W85 in our main content div. Now, I am going to add a bootstrap button to our top nav component and add a bar icon to it. On click of this, I will call a method, where we will add code to the toggle sidebar. Let's create a method, that we can call to, toggle the sidebar, outside of our component, so that we can use it anywhere else if we want. Now, in this method, create a variable named as sidenave, to store the element by, using getElementById method of document. Similarly create another method to store main content.
Now, I'm going to add a condition, if sidebar is already shown, then hide it and if not then show it. In condition, we are going to check if, d, flex class is in the list of classes on side nave division. To hide sidebar remove d flex from class list and add d none, which is from bootstrap itself. And to show sidebar, we will remove d none from the list, and then add d flex class in it. From main content class list remove, W85 and start 15 class 2, make it cover full width of the page. And when we are showing the sidebar, add these classes again. Now let's have a look. But this is not what has been asked, we have to hide the sidebar, whenever the component is selected. Grapes.js, has an event for the same, named as, component selected. Now let's add that event in our Grapes.js configuration. and call our method which we called in our top nav component. Now let's see, it works or not. We don't need to toggle the sidebar when the component is selected, it should always be hidden. So let's just add a condition. Done, let's have a final look. I hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. You can send me your questions, related to any tech, I might help you with that. See, you in next video, till then take care of yourself and your family and keep learning.